Well, it's a beautiful spring morning here in Winnipeg, Manitoba. Uh, the, you can see behind me the Assiniboine River, still partly frozen, but it's sunny, it's warm, so it's an ideal time to get outside and maybe show you what's inside my camera bag for 2018. So here we go. This is this is pretty much it. It's all contained in my Migo Agua 35 bag. It's a waterproof, stormproof, not waterproof, sorry, stormproof bag. Uh, it's ideal for me because of my camera is always accessible inside this thing. So it just takes two zippers to open it up like that. There's my camera sitting there with the lens intact, the lens hood intact. I just drag it up, take my picture, and I'm off to the races. So that's the bag itself. It's, it, and you'll see, I, I've had a review of this bag on, uh, on my blog, and you might want to take a look at that just to get some more details about the bag. I really love it. I've been using this since, uh, I think, 2016, and I just find it ideal. I use it as my everyday bag, as well as for long walks where I, I know I'm going to have to be taking pictures in, when it's in the inclement weather, when it's raining. This bag is ideal for that. For in most situations, I just put my camera in here. I can just keep the flap open, so it's always at the draw. It's only in major downpours where I might want to do the zippers up. Otherwise, it's just sitting like that if I'm walking along. You know, when we're walking at a fairly fast clip, my wife and I just stop, open up the bag, draw out the camera, and there I am, ready to take a picture. And that's as opposed to other camera bags that, you know, that um, have rain covers, for example, where if it happened to have a, a rainstorm, you have to take out the rain cover, put it over your camera bag, so it completely covers it and makes, makes it your camera inaccessible inside that camera bag. So this is really quite ideal. I love it a lot. Anyway, so we got the camera out. That's the camera bag itself. Inside, of course, the magic's all done with the camera itself. I've got here my e Olympus OMD EM5 uh, first edition. Uh, which I started using in uh, 2012 actually when we, we were on the Camino de Santiago. It's an ideal camera. Since then I've, I've upgraded to the OMD EM5 Mark II and that's actually what I'm using for my video right now because it allows me to attach a microphone to it. So we're using that. Uh, the beauty of the Mark II is that the camera is weatherproof. So in those situations where it is actually raining, uh, my camera can t stay in here relatively protected and then when I drag it out I can uh, you know for those moments I can be a uh, I can be assured that I can take a picture with the rain falling on the camera and that my my electronics will stay intact and still working the lens itself is an Olympus 14 to 150 millimeter zoom lens that's it right there pretty compact pretty lightweight uh, in 35 millimeter film equivalent terms, that's like a 28 millimeter to a 300 millimeter lens. So that's that's pretty. It's pretty much regarded as a travel lens, and that's the way I use it. Uh, it gives me a extra versatility uh, that I like to have on the road. Now, the beauty of this lens, this is also a second generation of this particular lens. It's not one of the Olympus Pro lenses, which are superior, of course, but they're also much more expensive. But the beauty of the Mark of the second generation of this lens is that it is it has weatherproofing as well so now I have a weather completely weatherproof package here with my camera and my lens and the camera bag itself and then just in addition to that I also have the lens hood that comes uh, is designed for this particular lens I keep this lens hood on all the time of course it's great for sun flare if I'm shooting into the into the sun uh, and I think it also just sort of um, it, it ensures the maximum quality that you're getting from the lens just by making sure that you're not having any sorts of reflections on your on your glass or regardless of which way you're pointing your camera. And the other great thing too is again getting back to the weatherproofing is that if it happens to be raining it just provides that little extra protection against rain falling on your glass. And believe me, it actually does help quite a bit. So it's uh, I, I just keep it on there. And this bag, by the way, is it it it's designed to accommodate the camera in the bag uh, with the uh, you know with this lens hood attached to it. So it just slips in there, fits in, and I'm on my way doing my walking with my poles, which you'll I'll probably have a blog post about the poles and all that kind of stuff in a future episode. Anyway, so that's the basic kit. 
Uh, other than that, inside the case, the, the downside of this particular case is it really doesn't have any pouches or things like that for additional stuff. So what it does have is a little place here for um, uh, 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 SD card, for example. Uh, uh, and I can't imagine just keeping an SD card right there. I mean, if you have this case open, then it is going to be a slightly vulnerable. So I just as soon have it a little bit more protective. But what I do have is a there is a lens, little lens, a stretchy lens thing here. So I keep a lens in here, um, either a polarizer or a neutral density or a close-up filter. Also inside the lens, squished down at the bottom, I have this. It's a it's a little very. Uh, compact, very lightweight uh, two lens pouch from lens coat. And inside here it's a, just sort of a, a foamy kind of material. Uh, the two, the two uh, filters are separated by a, a piece of fabric between. But in here I have one filter and, uh, and on the other side another filter. Okay, there we go. So this in this case, what I do is I, for this lens, I carry around, uh, I'm carrying around this year a, a, a close-up lens, a very mild close-up lens, uh, because I find that the, uh, the, this particular lens doesn't focus that close, and when I'm trying to take food shops, shots in the restaurant, which I like to do, uh, it, it doesn't quite focus close enough in, uh, in some situations. So I'm just taking that along to, to, to play with it a bit in those situations. Uh, I also carry around a polarizing filter, uh, again, to mostly to control reflections um, when you're looking through a plate glass window, like a storefront, for example, or if you're having to get some glare off of foliage uh, just because of sun angles and or maybe uh, water on the leaves, you, you can use the, the, uh, uh, the, the polarizer to uh, increase the vibrancy of that foliage. Uh, you can also use it to darken skies if you're pointed in the right direction. I don't really use it for that purposes. I'm just happy with the skies the way they, with the way they come from nature, to tell you the truth. Anyway, so that gets jammed down there. Oh, and I also carry around a, uh, a neutral density filter. Uh, the neutral density filter is if I want to um, do a, a waterfall shot, for example, where you get that nice cascading water where it's just a, a pure stream of, of, of light looks sort of magical. It's sort of a, a, a cliche in a way, I guess you'd say, but, but I, I, I do like uh, playing with that. Uh, also for slow motion blur shots where it's fairly bright, I can pop on a neutral density uh, filter just to slow down the shutter speed. So that's it, that's what's in the case. Now outside, because there's no pouches, I do have this additional uh, thing right here. Uh, what it is, it's just, it just attached to the side of my case and it's attached with a night eyes uh, gear tie right here. So it goes around and it comes all across off fairly easily. The package itself is, uh, is an aqua pack and inside of this aqua pack is, uh, I have a, a spare SD card I have two camera batteries, although usually I, I only need one extra battery uh, uh, for a typical entire day's walk with, with shooting along the way. Uh, I have that. I have a, a Lens Pro uh, Micro uh, Lens Cleaner right there, which I almost never use to tell you the truth. And then I also have a, 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 a filter wrench. Uh, just because there's there's been a, a few occasions where I've actually had to uh, you know, the, the filter just gets jammed onto your lens and it's a pain in the neck trying to get it removed. So the wrench just comes in handy. It weighs pretty, pretty much nothing. So that's that. I, I, I'll just put that down there for now. And that's pretty much my entire kit. That entire kit weighs 3.3 uh, pounds. Uh, it's, I, I think that's about 1,900, uh, 1900 grams, 1 1.9 kilograms. So it's a pretty lightweight thing. So. I, when I'm on a long distance walk and I have my backpack, which probably weighs 20 pounds, then I'm not feeling overly burdened, but at the same time, I have a pretty a full range um, camera system that gives me ultimate manual control, gives me the whole works really. Now, backup camera, you're wondering what am I using for a backup camera? Well, what I'm using is the phone that of course, we always all carry with us wherever we go. So primarily the phone is being used for my GPS. It's being used for, 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 for tracking uh, my walks so I can get an accurate distance of how far we've walked, for example, in a day and, and where we've walked. 
um, for just general mapping as well, uh, a flashlight, uh, checking email along the way perhaps, uh, things like that, that we all use our, 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 uh, our smartphones for. Um, but what this one is outfitted with is, and you'll see in one of my previous um, uh, videos and on my blog, um, I've started using the Moment Photo Battery Case and it has a basically a 3400 mAh battery in it so that it gives me it keeps my basically keeps my phone for walking working for the entire day oh my god look at that that is spring butterflies wow fantastic wow look at that that's amazing and anyways the beauty of the uh of the moment battery case of course is that it accepts these little moment lenses so again in my previous post i talked about these lenses i have a, a an 18 millimeter wide angle lens that just uh you just put it on the camera right here like that and there you have a wide angle lens on your camera and i also have in my pocket a telephoto lens this is a 60 millimeter telephoto lens that i can put onto the telephoto lens on my iphone 8 plus so so I basically that would then form my backup camera if if there is uh, a reason why my primary camera ceased to function for example or got stolen or what have you uh, I've always got this as a backup and uh, and theoretically you know it's the camera I always have with me but to tell you the truth if I'm doing a long walk it doesn't matter where I am I'm going to have this this pack this this camera with me at all times so uh, this is the camera that's always going to be with me regardless of where I go so anyways that's it that's the full kit and in the meantime I'm David Furman and be sure to catch uh, all all the updates on walk click make that's both on YouTube and also my main blog site which is walkclickmake.com so check out there for for some very interesting blogs about equipment about my walks uh, about the photography that I'm doing as a result of my walks so we'll talk to you late in another episode bye bye